Hello, friends. Welcome to the Bible in five minutes or less. We're in Psalms 23 today. We're going to deal with one specific verse in Psalms 23. One of my favorites. Now, Psalms 23, you should read the whole thing. It is awesome. But this is really important. In this, in this hour we're living, this is super important. So listen to this. Read this and heed this one. As I like to say, read and heed. Listen to this one. Uh, verse 4, Psalms 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And the verse goes on to say, For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they come for me. I don't want to get into all of that. I just want to give the verse that short shrift. But even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We live in an awesomely fearful age. For the last year, almost year, well, if you count just China itself, for the last year, we've been dealing with this coronavirus since March in this country. And the fear, the fear of this virus that kills less than 1% of the people that get it, and that's a fact, that's a, you can look it up. You know, a lot of people have caught it, but only less than 1% of the people have caught it have died from it. The fear that has filled the whole world, so much so that we've spent countless trillions of dollars around the world trying to deal with this. We've shut down the economy of the whole world over a, over a yes, it is, it is a, lethal, uh, uh, a lethal virus that kills people, absolutely. But the response to this virus that kills less than 1% of the people that catch it has been awesome, awesome, awesome. And I mean awesome in a bad way. And there's so much fear. And though, I mean, look at this verse. says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Imagine that. You're walking through a valley and it's called the shadow of death because death is everywhere. It's all around, the, it's around every corner, in every shadow is death. You're walking through this deadly valley and I will fear no evil. I'm not saying be foolish. I'm not saying don't take, don't take precautions. I'm not saying be stupid. You should do caution. You can have caution without fear. You can live a life without fear. You don't have to fear no evil. The Bible says over and over and over, the most common statement in the Bible that's repeated more than any other statement is fear not. If you will put your hope and faith in Jesus Christ. Isaiah, um, Psalms 91, you can pray Psalms 91 over yourself with this coronavirus. Um, no plague will come near me. No disaster will come near my tent. Ten thousand, a thousand will fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come near me. I will only observe it with my eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Man, you can believe the Bible. You can trust God through this fearsome time we're living in. You don't have to buy into the fear. You don't have to. And I encourage you to fear not. I encourage you, even if you're going through a difficult time and with what the world's going through, times may get more difficult. That's why I'm doing this one today. Fearing no evil. Man, take courage in God. Take courage in Jesus Christ. Ask God for to make you a man of valor, to make you a person of strength, to make you a person that trusts God completely. Don't let go of God. Hold on to God with all your heart. He is, he is, um, he put, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Show the goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's what comes after that. Let's see. 403. What comes before it is the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Man. Trust God. Trust his word. Invest your life. Invest your time into his word, which is alive, living and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. Man, he loves you. He hung his son on a cross to pay for your sin. He loves you. He doesn't want you to live a life of fear. He wants you to live, have a life of faith where you trust him completely in every situation. Even though you're walking through that valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil. He loves you and so do we. Have a blessed day. Amen.